my name is Gabriel Hood and welcome to another movie review. The focus review this time around will be on Man on Fire, a 2004 action thriller starring Denzel Washington and released by 20th Century Fox. The plot revolves around a retired CIA agent who occupies himself as a bodyguard to a young girl in Mexico City. They form a bond but is tragically torn apart when the young girl is kidnapped and the bodyguard is wounded while trying to fend off the kidnappers. In the aftermath, he vows to take down a criminal enterprise and redeem himself by saving the young girl. So let's begin, shall we? The story begins as our main protagonist, former CIA agent John Creasy, travels to Mexico City to visit his friend Paul Rayburn, who has history with him in the CIA. Rayburn convinces Creasy to take a position as bodyguard for Mexico City entrepreneur Samuel Ramos, whose daughter Peter requires the services of a bodyguard so that her kidnapping insurance policy will take full effect. In fact, Mexico City has been devastated by a wave of kidnappings and it's so bad that one person is kidnapped every hour and 70% of the victims die. So Creasy immediately takes a job with his qualifications but initially struggles to bond with Peter as he battles alcoholism and tremendous guilt over the violence he's committed while in the CIA and that at one point leads to him attempting suicide but the bullet in his gun misfires. After a while Creasy bonds with Peter especially through training for competitive swimming which pays off when in one big swimming competition Peter wins. Now in a perfect world This was Creasy's turn back into the right direction in life. As he learns what it's like to feel alive. As a human being all over again. It's like God was giving him a clean slate. Unfortunately though, one day. As Creasy accompanies Peter to take piano lessons. When that's done with, criminals bombards the area, bombard the area, and Creasy has no choice but to fend off the attackers. And although he's able to kill four of the attackers, including two corrupt cops, he's critically wounded. And Peter sadly gets kidnapped. <laughs> The crime devastates the area as well as Peter's parents, Lisa and Samuel. And the ringleader of the kidnapping sprees, known as The Voice, demands a $10 million ransom. To which Samuel complies with the help of police lieutenant Victor Fuentes, who foolishly ambitious the ransom exchange which leads to the voice's uh, nephew being killed during the exchange you're an idiot and a scammer and that consequently leads to the presumed death of Peter oh hell no so Rayburn an AFI agent Miguel Mazzano Revealed to Creasy that, that behind the kidnapping was a brotherhood that consists of corrupt cops, officials, and criminals. And, and a journalist named Mariana is covering the story. And during the pro and after the process of recuperating. 
Rayburn supplies Creasy with weapons and, equ and other equipment as he's vowed to Peter's mother to go after everyone that was a part of Peter's kidnapping and presumed death. Walk that trick! Walk that trick! And he makes very good on that promise as he brutally interrogates, tortures, and kills the various participants in the crime started from the corrupt cop that was there at the scene to other associates of the criminal syndicate and in the most spectacular action sequence in the film obliterates Fuentes motorcade with a rocket grenade launcher after which Creasy takes Fuentes prisoner and he admits that he ambushed the ransom exchange and much of the ransom money which, which of course was 10 million was stolen by Samuel's lawyer Jordan Calphus after which Creasy detonates a bomb that he had attached to, uh, to Fuentes rectum and he explodes spectacularly I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch I don't so Creasy goes to Jordan Calfa's residence where he finds him dead as well as information that's linked to Samuel and that leads him back to the very family that hired him for his bodyguard services. Creasy confronts Lisa and Samuel, and Samuel confesses his involvement. And Samuel confesses that he agreed to the kidnapping for insurance payout, which devastates Lisa as it is a betrayal to the family. Disloyal, fool ass, bitch made punk. And Creasy leaves Samuel one of his guns, unloads it, and supplies him with the very bullet that failed to fire during Creasy's previous suicide attempt. And Samuel, who's very remorseful, loads that bullet into the gun and fatally shoots himself as a consequence for betraying his family. So the journalist, Mariana, uh, publishes the story and gives Creasy the information that he needs to confront the ringleader and his associates. And the one fateful day comes where Creasy takes the ringleader's wife and brother prisoner after being shot in the chest and learns that the ringleader's real name is Daniel Sanchez. And after making contact with the ringleader and threatening him, it's revealed that Peter is very much alive. So Creasy agrees to make it his chain to spare Peter's life while Creasy sacrifices his. And finally, Peter is returned to her, her mother Lisa and Creasy gives himself up to the criminals and succumbs to his wounds while Mazzano personally kills the ringleader during the course of arrest. So my conclusion is, Man on Fire is a one-of-a-kind guilty pleasure. The first half of the movie has a lot of character development for Denzel Washington's character. And the second half 
has cathartic and spectacular action sequences, is genuinely suspenseful. He's very easy to root for. And most of all, it, it's not really about revenge, but more so about redemption. And it's very worth noting that Man on Fire was a reunion between Denzel Washington and director Tony Scott after previously working together on Crimson Tide. The disappointment for me, though, is that this is an example of an R rating that's clearly reserved for mature viewers, mainly adults. And if you have older teenagers who watch this movie, please discuss with them the themes about redemption, revenge, corruption, how God can give you a clean slate. And all of that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you later. Peace.